In this video, we're going to be using a graphing calculator to determine whether the following equations represent linear functions. So let's go ahead and let's pull up our graphing calculator. So we're going to go ahead and go to the y equals, and anything that's in there, we're going to clear it out. And then we're going to enter in our equation, y equals 3.8. And then we're going to go ahead and hit graph. And we see that our equation is giving us a straight line. So this one's pretty easy. We see that it has that constant rate. So this one is going to be linear. Let's take a look at letter B. So for this one, we have y equals the square root of x. So we'll type in the square root of x. And when we graph that, we see that we start at 0, 0, but then all of a sudden we get all the way up to the number 4, but we're not going constantly to get there. We're not in a straight line. It's got a little bit of a curve right here. And so this would be nonlinear because it's got that curve in the graph. Let's go ahead and look at the graph for letter C. So we go y equals, and we're going to go 3, and then to get the x and the exponent, we're going to hit this little, it's called a caret button, it looks like a little arrow pointing up, and we're going to hit that, and then the x, and then we're going to hit graph, and that definitely has a curve. So that is definitely going to be nonlinear. Let's take a look at letter D. So for letter D, we have the equation, it's a fraction, so to have it come out as a fraction, we're going to hit our alpha y equals key, choose option 1 so that we get our fraction, and I'm going to put 2, and an arrow down, and put an x in my denominator, and I'm going to graph that, and that is definitely curved, it's not straight, so that would be nonlinear. Let's go ahead and let's put in letter E. So we're going to go in, we'll clear out what we have, so 6 parentheses, x minus 1, close parentheses, and then I'll graph it, and that looks pretty straight as we're moving through. Nice straight line there. So that would be linear. Let's go ahead and do letter F, our last one. So we'll go Y equals. We'll clear out what's in there. Now this time, we actually have to get our Y by itself first so that we can plug it in. So what we're going to need to do is to move over our y. So that way we've got y equals x squared. And now we can plug that into our calculator, x squared. So notice I had to hit the x first before I could hit the square button. Even though it says x squared, it means you're just going to square whatever you put in. So I hit graph, and that is definitely going to be curved. So this is going to be nonlinear because our graph is curved. And so that's how you can use a graphing calculator to help you to determine if the following equations represent linear functions or not. Um, and if it's hard to tell, you can always zoom out and get a bigger picture of the graph and see.